Good morning, Stephanie Cameron, the Stock Whisperer, here to tell you the whisper of the day. But before we get to today's whisper, that's right, we've got to talk about Friday. So Friday, if you had a chance to listen, we had our eye on a couple of stocks. The first one was HPQ. We were bearish below those prints of $17.55. A lot of us were swinging this overnight, and it had a really nice move down all the way to about uh, 17 12 where it hit that eight exponential moving average uh, great place to cover uh, we're still under 1755 so that is a key level i'm actually going to be bullish above 1760 on a bull swing if she can close above that but also on friday mu that was a big winner we were bullish above those prints 25 dollars Foxy Roxy uh, was rocking that one. Nice trading there. But our big winner, you guys, AMD. We saw the dark pool selling way before that news came out. $13.92 were the prints. A lot of my traders were swinging this short overnight and rocking it. But a lot of my traders were rocking it on the day trading side. Mike, New York City. Vernon, the Verminator was rocking it. Lorraine was rocking it. But the trader of the day goes to Viking John. He was rocking it, doing those options. Nice trading, Viking John. All right, you guys. So what are we watching today? Well, Mondays are not my favorite day. I like, I love Tuesdays. But there's a couple things that are they're on my list this morning. Uh, UNG, natural gas, showing some strength this morning. The level I'm watching on UNG is $7.12, 7 and 8th. I, I'm not a big fan of gappers because a lot of times they pull back down. If she pulls back down and fills the gap, I would look to get into this on the way up through the 7 level. But if she continues to go up higher from here, 7.12 is definitely a, a key level. Also, GoPro, G-P-R-O. Lot of volume at 850. Watch Arca on the bid there. He was refreshing. After 10 minutes, if he no longer wants to buy at 850, GoPro's gonna go down. But it looks like he's been holding that up this morning. Also have my eye on uh, Alcoa as a longer term swing. If you were in my four hour premium event in New York City at the Traders Expo, told my traders I was loving Alcoa. Uh, down here for a seasonal swing and if you belong to Weiss Research I just put out a new article this morning all about the seasonal patterns of Alcoa 37.50 is a key level to watch on a swing trade if she can close above this all right then that'll be really really strong so definitely keep your eye on that level Russell yeah, a lot of us are short the Russell overnight. We had a lot of dark pool action on Friday at 138.80. All right, key level is about 6 million traded there. But even before that, we had a lot of dark pool selling at the 140 level. If you follow me on Stock Twits and Twitter, I did tweet out a lot about that. So we have a high volume doji on the daily chart so if we close below 137.88 that's going to be very bearish but check out the weekly chart on alcoa you can see it a nice up thrust that's a white cough up thrust through 140 on high volume that is a bearish candlestick pattern so uh, definitely keep your eye on the russell also spy we had a major 50 million level on the SPY at 236.55. We may come down to test that area. That is a key level. If we close below 236.55, extremely bearish. So keep your eye on that as well as those massive prints we had last week on IAU, 11.93. We're still underneath it right now, but... It's going to make it or break it this week. And if you trade gold, you definitely want to keep your eye on $11.93 on IAU. Bullish above, bearish below. No thinking, come watch me trade these stocks and so many more along with my fantastic traders and the job of trading. I'm at www.
www.thestockwhisperer.com. Happy trading, everybody.